Hey everybody, welcome back to Monroe Live. Today we're at Texas Instruments booth here. It's actually a big meeting room here at CES 2023. And we have Mark and Molly, is that right? Yes, yeah. Molly. And they're gonna run through a lot of their technology that they have here. So behind me, there's this wild box here with a lot of their silicon BMS technology. And Mark's gonna go in detail the advantages of it and, and what, they're, what they're doing here. So yeah. go ahead, Mark. Let me kind of explain our mission at Texas Instruments. We really want to maximize driving range. We want to make the charging experience uh, more enhanced. We want to make EVs more affordable, and we also want to make them safer. So what we're doing here in this uh, system, um, Corey, while you've taken apart battery management systems, we've watched your channels, um, you know, we've not, uh, this is basically a look into the electronics that's part of a, a high voltage BMS. So here we're showing all of the silicon devices, all of the key technologies that TI is working on to enable um, those four things that I mentioned. So in this box here, we've got every single piece of silicon from Texas Instruments, from the battery monitors, which are monitoring the cells incredibly accurately. And by the way, we've got the world's most accurate monitor as we move towards lithium iron phosphate batteries uh, to enable a lower cost implementations. Uh, we've got the uh, pack monitors, which are monitoring the current and looking at isolation resistance. We've got um, the microcontroller, the contactor drivers, which are driving live contactors, uh, pyro element drivers, which are driving those pyro uh, disconnect things. Um, so basically, we are key, uh, featuring our, all of our marquee technologies. Uh, and in the overall setup, let me just kind of explain, um, we've got a battery simulator here. So the battery simulator is connected, the cables go underneath, and they actually come in, uh, into our, our setup. So this, me this mix of wires uh, here is basically the simulator is providing all of the cell voltages, all of the uh, current and temperature information so that we're simulating our board. It's just like having everything in a real battery pack, except we don't wanna deal with real high voltage uh, situations, right? This is a, a meeting room. Um, this is also what people do to test their equipment. So I'll let Molly here kind of describe what we have uh, for an interface to kind of simulate how a designer would go through things. And in the end, we can kind of show a really cool demo with our wireless BMS technology. Sure, um, thank you, Mark. So what we have here is the hardware in the loop simulator. So this allows us to model a real lithium ion cell behavior. So in a dynamic uh, way. So what we do is control this hill um, to, to model the cell behavior and feed it into our um, signal acquisition and measurement systems, uh, our cell monitors and the pack monitor and so on. And what we try to demonstrate here is the, is the industry leading uh, accuracy of our voltage measurement. So what we've chosen to do is here to uh, model the current and voltage profiles how it would look like in a real car when they're driving a certain drive profile. So it's, we have chosen the WLTP, the Worldwide Harmonized Light Test Profile, and it has four categories. Let's just choose one. And what's gonna happen in a real car is when you start to drive, uh, right? So the high voltage contactors in the battery close, and then this provide energy to your powertrain system. So that's, that's something that you can see here. So we have uh, silicon that can uh, control the contactors, so we call them contactor drivers. Yeah. So this allow you to close the contactors in a safe manner and also able to diagnose those um, in, 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 in case of fault systems. So let's just uh, run this model and then see. So I want to discharge now. So discharge is basically your driving scenario. So you're either driving or braking, so a recuperation. So once we start this, our profile starts and the hill is transmitting these dynamic voltages to here. And this is what we are uh, simulating, and this is what we are measuring here. So if you see, we are measuring the cell voltages with an unprecedented accuracy of one millivolt. So the error is as low as one uh, millivolt. So what this allows us is to uh, better estimate the state of charge of the cells. So as better the accuracy is, as better the state of charge estimation and thereby resulting you in the maximum range uh, that's possible. So this also allows you know to squeeze out every ampere hour of the battery to push it to the limits without uh, compromising on the safety. So this is really enabling you to achieve more uh, range and drive more miles uh, 
exactly. Yeah, so when you talk to an OEM or maybe even yeah. a supplier, a tier one supplier, is that your, your main advantage of this, the accuracy, so that maybe an OEM can have a slightly smaller battery because they can maximize the exactly. range and get more range out of the kilowatt hours. Is that exactly. the main the Yeah, main exactly. Benefit? So that's one of these. So yeah. what uh, we have the whole comp comprehensive uh, system, yeah. right? So we just don't have, we, we, not, we don't only have the battery monitors, we also have the contactor drivers and the pyrofuse yeah. drivers. So all these components are rated up to ASIL D, functional safety, which means this is the highest level of safety that is possible in an automotive environment. So yeah, we, 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 we give them safe uh, monitoring devices with unprecedented, unprecedented ability to control the contactors and trigger the pyro elements when uh, a fault occurs. Yeah. So yeah. So what you're saying is Texas Instrument offers a whole suite of, of silicon exactly. devices so, so that they can monitor much safer and perform better. Make the batteries more efficient yeah. and safer. Yeah. yeah, that's great. And thereby also, you know, uh, rapidly transition the electrification yeah. industry. Yeah. yeah, and so the demonstration here is a wireless BMS, is that what that so is? So we also have wireless BMS. Yeah. Um, i let Mark take over. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, before we do that, uh, I wanna, do we want to show a, a quick sample of maybe how we would use this system? So yeah, maybe sure, we want to inject the fault? Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. I mean, a BMS uh, has primary functionality of uh, keeping the BMS, uh, the battery pack safe, right? So. The typical faults that can occur uh, in any of the batteries is overcharge, <laughs> undercharge, uh, which is typically mentioned as over voltage and under voltage yeah. and overcurrent, case of a short circuit, which yeah. might happen in during a crash or leakage of coolant and so on. So um, in case of an over voltage, the, the reaction should be that you open the high voltage system by opening the contactors. Yeah. So we can simulate that. So this hill um, would also allow us to inject uh, faults so one of such fault is an over voltage and we have parametered the threshold to 4.2 volts. So this limit yeah. is uh, changing from uh, depending on the cell uh, type. So if we if we uh, inject an over voltage fault, you should see the reaction is instantaneous. Oh, yeah. So the, the hill changes to 4.2 and then we are measuring it instantly. And the software is detecting the, this as an OV UV fault and the contactors are open. So this this is how the fault um, handling is happening. So we have various faults that, that can be managed. So this is part of the BMS yeah. uh, software. So why don't I show you the context? So what we're showing you is here is wired uh, battery management system. Yeah. And so we are also featuring our wireless battery management system yeah. here as well. So in a real vehicle, um, we've got the battery pack that's mounted underneath the car. In this case, uh, we are actually monitoring a real battery pack. So you see the battery pack of this uh, remote controlled car. We are actually powering the motor uh, of the RC car. We're also monitoring the battery pack with our technology with, which enables lithium iron phosphate, right? So our one millivolt accurate monitors, uh, we are reporting the actual voltage that we have on the vehicle uh, and then sending this data back wirelessly to our suitcase, right? So that wireless technology means that I, um, I have wireless transmission of all my voltage and temperature data. So Corey, I'll give you the honor yeah. of driving this vehicle. Ooh, nice. Um, so I want you to drive around, uh -huh. but I also want you to take, to take note of this, um, this portion here. There's gonna be a red light that turns on yeah. when you crash. When I crash, yeah. When and if you crash. Yeah. If you're a good Ooh, driver, if you're a good driver, you won't crash, but okay. you know, if you want to crash it, there'll be a, a red light that turns on, and I will explain that after you crash it. Okay. All right. So as you're driving, we're actually transmitting the voltage and temperature data back to, back to the suitcase. But the minute that you crash the vehicle, you want me to crash? Yeah, I want yes. you to crash it. So well, I want to crash. So we continue to we can. Oh, all right, you crashed it. Now that red light at the top now turns on, which signals that the pyro uh, element in the system has actually triggered because yeah. under a, tr a crash condition the battery has to be disconnected yeah. from the inverter as soon as possible. So TI is now demonstrating its wireless BMS technology. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> we're, we're demonstrating here our yeah. wireless BMS technology, our high accuracy monitoring, yeah. our, and our safety type of mechanisms that we have to control the, the, the most um, state-of-the-art types of disconnect. Yeah, that's really cool. And you have a demonstration right here to show. Yep. Yeah, man. Well, thanks for running through this technology with me. I think our viewers will really like it. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. CES 2023 has been pretty crazy. A lot of crazy demonstrations. 
this is some technology I think that you know our viewers, including OEMs and tier ones, may take some interest in. So thank you, thank you, Molly. Thank you, and thank Corey. you, Mark. Thank you. More to come. Thanks. Bye.